Sports. And coming up, we've got Daniel Jones. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Giants and the Steelers on Monday Night Primetime. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the world steel capital in the city of Bridges, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Akershire Stadium. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of the last six games. On the other side of the field for the visiting Giants, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. Still nothing, nothing here in quarter one, but an early test to check in on as we've got a third down situation looming. Half jumbo, half jumbo. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And boy, he is close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Singletary, they'll run for it. And he will have the first before. Right on the chalk of the 20. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Second and 11. Operating from the gun, Jones. And this one's incomplete. This defense for the Steelers, they really played well a week ago in that win over the Jets. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Throwing is Wilson. That's going to be caught by Pickens. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Wilson. Uh, he had him. He was a... Let's jump back into the action with this defense what? up against a first and 10 at the 11. Set. They snap it at one. Now Wilson pickings on the slant. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. What? Throwing again here, Wilson. And it's caught. And in for the Steelers touchdown. Van Jefferson, his first touchdown of the year. And the Steelers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great... Zone alert forthcoming here. A first and goal situation as this offense looks to punch in the football from right around the six. Here we go, hey. Throwing Jones. This is caught. Touchdown, Giants. Allen Robinson in the final seconds of the first half. 
And the Giants have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Well, points have been hard to come by in this one, and it's the third quarter. Defenses have reigned supreme. Can the defense reign supreme right. once more on third down? Let's find out. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Jordan Phillips coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. We drop you into the action here, neck and neck, tie game, third quarter, third down. Can this defense get the stop? On third down, they go with Singletary. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. We drop you back into the action here. Ball in the red zone. Offense has it with a first down. And they run here with Singletary. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Again, it'll be Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Okay, here we go. Now Jones. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Fourth quarter, tie game, fourth down. And this defense looking for a stop. Here we go on fourth down. And he gets this one across midfield for the first. All right, this offense has made its way into the red zone as they're set up with a first and 10 just inside the 20. Once again, he finds Slayton. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Now a toss to Singletary running to the left. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Operating from the gun, Jones. This is caught. It's Robinson. The task for the defense here is simple. Get a stop. They've got a one-score, seven-point lead. Cut. Cut. Wilson. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to skim the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, meaning yeah. the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Cut. Here's Wilson. He's got pickets complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. Now Wilson. Frustrated. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the O-line and recorded the sack. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've hey, got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Throwing now is Wilson. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. But that incompletion reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now we'll pause for an injury here. That's George Pickens. The receiver who's in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Here's Wilson. A short one there to Fryermuth. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. What a way to wrap up the week. Now a big play. It's third down. Wilson to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Warren. And he will have a Steelers first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. And yes, he's in the end zone. So we drop you into this situation. The game is tied. Late fourth quarter. This offense starting with the ball on their own side of the field. And they do have all three timeouts looking to get into field goal range. Looking deep downfield. It's caught inside the 25. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They've just likely won this thing in regulation. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. He's back to throw. And throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. It's caught inside the 25. And he's into the end zone. Unbelievable. A defensive collapse on the final play. And Charles Aiken tie it with a PAT. I cannot.
not believe that. Obviously, the excitement level here is almost a fever pitch. Down one is tempting to go for two. <laughs> I say you go ahead and kick the extra point. You got the home crowd carried into overtime. I'm with you. I do see some fans, though, holding up two fingers. Easy now. Yeah, but they're not the ones who have to actually make that call, are they? And now the decision is to go for two. A gutsy call in this, in effect, is your ball game right here. One last shot for Wilson. And he's got it. It's caught. What a call with no time remaining. And with that, two points, they win the game. So let's recap. How about the guts in this one? You score on the final play. Thought they were just going to try the PAT and yeah. tie it, send it to overtime. Trust they went for two, and they won it right there. Well, the book, right? You know the book that everyone plays by, right? Yeah. That mythical book says, kick it, get to overtime, you're covered. If you don't, you go for two, and you don't get it. Your job could be in jeopardy, but sometimes people just know their teams. They may have felt like they were out of gas. They had to have it now, and they did it and got out of there with a win. So for the Steelers, they run their mark to 6-2 and two on the year, and they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week 